name is Missy. I work at the Big White House in downtown Anoka. We are inside the Colonial Hall. It was built in 1904 by a husband and wife that were both doctors, um, Dr. Allenson and Flora Aldrich. Um, they never had children and um, he passed away in 1916 and she passed away in 1921. The whole house was used as their residence except for two rooms on the main floor on the north side of the house. One room was the um, waiting room and the other room was the examination room. So they were used as her clinic. She wasn't allowed to see men back then because men wouldn't see women doctors. So she saw women and children out of there. Her husband, Dr. Allenson Aldrich, had um, an ear, nose, and throat clinic in downtown Minneapolis, but he would see emergencies out of this clinic. They are from the East Coast and they came over here with money and they, um, they honeymooned in Anoka and they loved it so much that they wanted to build their dream home here. So they built this giant mansion for two people. <laughs> Anoka does a haunted ghost tour, and this house is on that ghost tour. The Historical Society puts it on. Um, there has been feelings and sightings of, of ghosts here. Um, we, most of the people that work here do believe in it as well and have felt them in past things. Um, both doctors passed away inside the home, him of pneumonia, her of heart issues. And her dad did commit suicide on the property, just not in the house, but he did live in the house when he died. So sometimes we have uh, the three, those three entities that people feel. 1921, Dr. Flora died and they never had children. So her brother flew in from the East Coast. He inherited the house. He had no need for a house in Anoka, Minnesota. So he decided um, at being a Mason that he would sell it to the Anoka Masons. They used this house while they were um, getting funds and building their current location. And when they did build it, they connected the two buildings. So next to this house, connected to this house, is a big brick building that is an uh, active Anoka Masonic Lodge. The best thing about having this type of store in this house is that people get to enjoy it every single day. You can always tell if they've never been here in this shop before because they'll walk in and they'll just start drooling over the stairs. And um, it's just nice to know that there's so many historical houses and places in Anoka, but not all of them are accessible to the public. So people, we're open seven days a week and people just come in and um, love this house. It's perfect setting for a shop like ours. We can decorate the kitchen like a kitchen and this and that, but just knowing that we can share it with people and that they can love it like we do. Um, I used to work corporate America. It's, I worked in a square building that had 10 floors. This is so unique and fun and you know, just to be able to be in such a place, the owners that built it loved this house. And I think they really truly love that people get to love it too. The preceding program was produced by the Anoka County Historical Society and Hennepin Technical College. You can plan a visit to the Anoka County History Center at 2135 3rd Avenue North in downtown Anoka. Help us preserve history. If you would like to donate or become a member of the Anoka County Historical Society, go to anokacountyhistory.org.